really cool Protoss player um, by the name of Kr. He spawned here on the top left on Deadwing as the pink Protoss. Kr. I love to pronounce his nickname. Probably, probably totally different, but ah, who cares? And playing for Red Bloods as the Green Zerg spawned in the bottom right here. It is Hunfi. And oh yeah, kids, um, Yoshi, you can actually um, you can actually see Yoshi from that angle, but I'll get him out later on. Just keep on reminding me. Um, the song, by the way, uh, since Guild is asking, this is the Liquid City uh, year mix. Sorry, I don't have that um, bracket thing established, but <laughs> I'll just post it manually. All right, um, let's see, Hanfi. Putting out some really good defense uh, against Chubbs. I don't know, Chubbs must not have uh, seemed very confident in his in his late game PVZ, but I know Kerr definitely is. He's a strong late game player, and with his creative playstyle, he usually throws his op opponents off guard, so I would expect a pretty decent match coming out of both these guys. We already have a little bit of a change up. Nexus first uh, for Kerr. And Hanfi going for the triple hatch before pool again. And that's the first gas coming out of Kr, and finally a pool being established for Hanfi. Good for him, and Kr also going for an early probe scout, uh, which of course uh, is just vital in order to not lose uh, straight on against any early pool play for for the Zerg. So let's see what he's gonna go for here. Um, first, of course, uh, gonna go for the Zelt production. I think he might actually cancel it since he did scout out. A Ooh, did he not see? I don't think he saw this base uh, in production. I think he ju just passed right by it. But he's gonna see the late, um, the late pool. He doesn't see any gas, so he might go for a cancel on the Zelt. Yeah, he has it selected every once in a while. Yep, there's a cancel. So it's gonna save a little bit, save a little bit of minerals. Double queens are coming out. There's the third queen here on the third base, and just two links coming out for Hanfi. So no early aggression. Looks similar to the first game versus Shops, um, except that Shops actually went for <laughs> for some aggressive play early on. And. Uh, what are you gonna go for? He already has uh, two gases established. I'm going for a third one and a fourth one. Quite early. I'm kind of excited to see what he's gonna go for here. Sentry is already out as well. And that usually means uh, some early tech. And there it is. Stargate. Stargate coming out, but Hanfi, he likes his queens, so I don't think the Stargate is gonna do all that much. Especially if he goes for Phoenixes. Um, but Hanfi, of course, he could um, he could just add in more and more queens, but I think he usually st stays on just about two additional queens. So, just five queens overall. And also goes for his gas now. So this is the first time that we've actually seen Hanfi sort of aiming for a later game just because his Protoss, his Protoss opponent usually went for something crazy early on or he did in that second game but still and let's see there's the first phoenix being produced and actually chrono boosted out and no second stargate so that that would have been kind of crazy for crew to go for a second stargate just yet but more gateways so he could go for some kind of aggression he doesn't have a probe out yet just yet and adding in more sentries kind of tells me that he's just gonna try and go for uh, Stargate aggression for now and stick to that. And ooh, Hanfi getting the perfect scout here. Sees the two, uh, two gateways and sees the Stargate most importantly. <clears throat> or sees, he knows, okay, there's a second, uh, there's a third gateway up here. No, second gateway. Second, right. Two, no, two second, third. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> a little bit screwed up in my mind. But um, that will just prompt him to go for a couple more spores. Maybe add in one more queen if he can. But instead, <laughs> wow, going for a fourth hatch so quickly. That is incredibly quick. 
is already up to 57 drones, um, which is lower what, what than what you would have uh, with a different style. But since he can just pump out drones now and um, still be on a good position for defense, it's, it's pretty cool. This is gonna just explode. Like his, his economy is gonna go through the roof once that fourth base actually uh, kicks into full force. And he already has some decent saturation on most of his bases. Yeah, um, once that gas actually comes into play. He can make full use uh, of all of this. And did he go for the layer tag just yet? Nope, not quite. But the speed is almost done. Plus one, plus one has started. He has some crazy good creep spread already. And already creeping towards his opponent. And Kuro, of course, he needs to react to this. He, he saw the... Oh, he didn't quite see the fourth base just yet. But, I mean, if he doesn't underestimate Hanfi, he knows that a fourth base is coming. And, yeah, already reacting. Um, going for third base on his own. And going for some tech behind this. Um, the Forge is on the way with the plus one upgrades. Um, we have Colossi on the way. And I think I... Yep, robotic space also there. So he's just waiting for additional gas, and once that hits, he's gonna pump out thermal lands and go for all of these juicy, juicy upgrades. Also going for a Twilight Council, of course. We will get Ty Tempest into the mix as soon as he can. And Hanfi already up to 81 workers. That is just insane. But right now, there's nothing that Kur can really do to to stop this massive uh, eco. This uh, Stargate build really relies on early damage um, or really good follow-up, but right now there, like, there's no follow-up possibility for Kerr. And <clears throat> Hanfi is already gearing up for late game. He's going for the Infestation Pit, he's going for the Spire, um, so I guess we're gonna see a pretty, pretty early Hive Tech coming out of him. Go for fast Vipers to react to the Colossi. At least that's something I'm hoping for, but he, of course he could also go for Swarm Host. Um, but maybe he's gonna go for both, I mean, sure it helps. With the melee upgrades um, kind of tell me that he wants to uh, throw some Vipers in there as well. And then just pull Colossi into the and into the Zerglings. Ah, will we see a run by? Wants to go for counter aggression. Four swarm was on the way. Endure locus upgrade is on the way, and the plus one missile attacks as well. And that spire could still be used, but I think right now uh, Hanfi definitely wants to stick to defense. And eleven swarm host certainly spell a strong defense for me. And did he go for? Nope, he's not even going for hive tech just yet. But let's have a look at this income. 2,200, 900 gas. Uh, that's uh, that's some really good production uh, for Zerg. Really, really good production. Uh, but also, Kru is catching up. He's uh, almost gotten to uh, 65 workers. So he's in a okayish spot. We'll add in a couple more probes. And also, the plus one, uh, plus two research for weapons is done now. And Blink is on the way. And three Colossi, pretty pretty cool mix so far. Um, I'd like to see some High Tempers in the mix here pretty soon. Otherwise, he will have some trouble dealing with these uh, Corruptors that are coming out of Hanfi. And Hanfi will try to deny a fourth base, which Kuru just wants to establish. We'll move on with the Swarm Host though. He needs to, uh, yeah, he needs to improve on the creep spread a little bit. He started out pretty well early on, but then. Once Kuru actually moved out on the map, he was a little bit hesitant to move out with his creep. Which makes sense, but... Now another wave of uh, Locus, and then he's gonna retreat these back, just to s keep them in safe distance. And wow, the Locus already doing quite a bit of damage here, versus the Stalkers. Kuru is still handling this quite well, with some decent stutter step, but the Stalkers are taking damage, and quite a few are going down here. And uh, Hanfi already going for more and more Corruptors, and going for Hive Tech. I'd love to see some Brood Lords coming out of him. Also going for the plus two Missile Attack upgrade, and... Oh, these links got rid of the fourth base, but will be eaten alive now. 
And can crew actually do all that much more here? Doesn't look like it. Still trying to take his fourth base. Uh, Hanfi is content with staying on these four bases for now. Nope, there it is. Finally going for a fifth base, or well, what am I saying? Finally, we're at 50 minute mark. This is quite a macro oriented game for both of these players, but still. Good to see him going for a fifth base as well. Ooh, good force field. Incredible force field still. Right now he doesn't have an answer to these corruptors. Uh, lots and lots of blink stalkers might do. Especially if you're fighting without your army. But Anfi, he's going into the offensive. Even go for a Dreadle Glance upgrade. So we'll soon see uh, lots of infestors in the mix as well. Oh, you shouldn't do that, Kerr. That's a little bit dangerous, but he really wants to get rid of the Corruptors. And he has successfully gotten quite a few out of the air. Five have been taken out. No new ones have been produced so far. But Hanfi, he wants to have a little bit of free supply, especially for these Vipers that are coming out right now. And Vipers are going to help quite a bit here. They're going to pull the Colossi right on top of the Coloss uh, on, uh, on the Corruptors and on top of these Swarm Hosts. But ooh, Kerr with the aggressive move, moving straight on top of the Swarm Hosts and taking quite a few out. Is he going to take out any more? Um, he might. He might actually get rid of all of these Swarm Hosts. That was incredible. But he lost a lot of Colossi, so... Still, I think it was a pretty good trade, especially if you can get started with the Colossi production again. But eight more Swarm Hosts are coming out for Hanfi. His fifth base is established now. He's not transferred any workers over there just yet. But with uh, some good upgrades, I think he can still stay in this game, especially if Kerr stays back. But he really wants a couple more Colossi alive. He needs more Colossi to deal with the Swarm Host. He knows, okay, my opponent can just remax on Swarm Host and I'll be in a tough position. Oh, <laughs> single Swarm Host was hidden back here. That's a nice, easy pickup. And Kerr also opting, finally opting to go for the plus one armor upgrade. Ooh, these, col these swarm hosts are in trouble. But I don't think Kerr realized he could have just, um, yeah, he could have just blunk on top of the swarm host. Would have been quite a few dead swarm hosts uh, for Hanfi. But now just a single class, uh, some good, some good uh, blink play from Kerr could save most of these stalkers, but. Oh, nice aggressive blink forward, getting two swarm hosts, three swarm hosts, and, oh, nice blinding clouds, but he doesn't have too much energy available for these vipers, and wow, what an aggressive move out of Kerr, again, another blink on top of the swarm host, still these uh, locusts are doing him in, one colossus is taken out, second one will fall as well, but that's so many stalkers for you, I think Kerr can actually take this, which is pure blink stalker micro. A lot of links are coming out, but Anfi doesn't have the production available right now to deal with, with so many uh, blink stalkers. We would have needed infestors to deal with this, and maybe even a couple of roaches or yeah, some some kind of defense. But right now, with uh, some solid blink play, I think Kirk can take this. He for sure is gonna kill at least one base here. And that's going to cut into Hanfi's production. He's losing quite a bit of workers now. And losing quite a bit of uh, larvae in the process as well. Let's see, is Kerr going to turn around? Eight more swarm hosts are on the way. Definitely had a window here to, cl to clear this off. But it looks like he can clear out this third base. And now even Zealot's being added into the mix. But he's kind of... Uh, relying on this uh, single war prison to resupply. That's an uh, okay position for Hanfi on the left side there. He doesn't have um, doesn't have a massive upgrade advantage. So he will need to fight on top of the, sw um, on the swarm host and have his spine crawlers in the mix as well. And he's down to two bases right now. This has worked out quite well for Kru. And he's now working on a transition out of the Colossi, um, which he hasn't actually reproduced. So he's just relying on the on the uh, stalkers for now. But high tempos are being produced, so probably see high tempos or at least archons in the mix as well pretty soon. Kurt will need to watch out, and uh, he shouldn't really fight here. He could just blink out. Yep, yeah, exactly like that. Maybe without losing so many stalkers, but. 
that was a pretty good move for him. Anfi is gonna go and chase off the remaining units. But still, uh, he lost two bases, in, or three bases rather, in that engagement. Is quite low on income right now, and the natural is almost mined out. The main is pr yeah, pretty much mined out. So he's just relying on this third base. We'll try to get another base established here pretty soon. But Kerr as well, he's in trouble. His fourth base might get cancelled. Oh, yeah, there's the cancel. At least he got a cancel out of this. Because he's also a little bit starved over here. Um, not that many resources remaining on his third. Natural almost mined out, so he really wants that fourth base here pretty soon. Lots of infestors. Infanfi is reacting to um, to the mass amounts of stalkers. And he still has a couple of swarm hosts available. We'll try to get rid of that fourth base for Kuru, but still, he needs to watch out. More prism is available. He has observers, so it's a lot of poke and prod for Hanfi. He needs to get a couple of a couple of locusts out, then relocate once again. Get a couple of locusts out and relocate one more time. That's really the only way to, way to defend this right now. Otherwise, Kuru will just march on top of him. He's also... Hanfi's also reproducing Corruptors, going for a couple of Vipers. These are costly units, though, so he definitely needs to keep his Swarmos alive this time. If, if he's gonna lose these Swarmos again, I think that's pretty much game for him. But if he can keep him alive somehow, he should be... Uh, he should be okay. At least if he gets another base established again. Kerr also dealing okay with this. Finally having that base available. A little bit of mismanagement with his probes here. Unnecessary long mining route. And the Colossi uh, will need to be micro against these links. Otherwise, yeah, he's losing a little bit of um, real damage. Or getting a little bit of real damage done to them. That could have been shield damage. And wow, that's a lot of Colossi. And that is a crazy, crazy amount of Colossi. 8 Colossi out for Kuru pretty soon. Not that many Stalkers anymore. A little bit of a run by here in the main. Maybe uh, Kuru can get rid of some tech. Maybe the Hive, uh, possibly the Infestation Pit. Uh, he's going straight for the Hive. That could hurt Hanfi. Eventually, uh, since he hasn't gotten to the Greatest Spy yet, though um, Zergs don't really... Uh, love their brute lord play quite as much as they did before. Ooh, Hanfi uh, goes straight for the layer on on the second hatch, and looks like he can clear this up. So just a few seconds one. And did he catch the? Nope, he didn't quite catch the war prison. It's on the hunt again. But no, he turned around, and Hanfi didn't quite realize it's in a blind spot. It's in a blind spot over there. And uh, that could be another warp run of a couple of zealots to take out this space, but right now, since Hanfi is still in position, uh, it's not gonna happen. But look at this massive army from Kuru. He's moving over. Uh, he has plus three upgrades, uh, four weapons, and plus one shields, versus uh, pretty much plus two in all categories for Hanfi. Of course, he needs to get rid of the creep first, otherwise, um, he might lose way too much in this engagement. Anfi sees the massive amount of Colossi, and right now he doesn't have an answer to it. He doesn't have an answer, he needs more Corruptors to come out. And Kuru just making a move. Ooh, some good abducts. That's one Colossi, two Colossi, and an Archon. And Eastside Templar, they have Storm available, they could go for feedbacks. But they're also quite prone to be uh, abducted here. So this is really a battle of micro uh, in that next engagement. Also quite a few infestors. So Kerr will need to rethink a little bit here. Oh, finally going for the Mothership Core again. I think he lost that quite early on and then never remade it. It's really not a wise, wise decision. You want to have that Mothership Core available in all fights. Um, for time warps, uh, also for recalls. Like, with a, with a good... Well, well-timed recall, you can kill a base and just be safe at home to defend uh, later on. Spire. Another Spire will be built here. Possibly because uh, 
This one is off creep and losing losing a little bit of health, but also for upgrades maybe. Transition into Sky Zerg. We'll have to see. The hive is almost done as well again. So I'm kinda thinking Root Lords could be coming into play. Plus these uh, plus two flyer upgrades, flyer armor upgrades helping out um, with the vipers, so it's not not too shabby. And Kruger's army is kind of immobile since he doesn't have as much Spling Stalkers anymore. But he's also uh, transitioning out of these Colossi and going more towards a High Templar focused army. Which means uh, shields are helping out quite a bit for, for Archons. And I don't think we're gonna see all that many more Colossi. Mostly Storms. Maybe a little bit of feedbacks to deal with the Infestors and, and Vipers. But this is gonna be a longer game here. Hanfi is already gearing up for that. But doesn't have a 6th base just yet, or even 5th base if I'm counting correctly. And Kura is going for the move here. He's almost maxed out. Plus 2 uh, armor is done. Oh, nice abduct. That's a free Archon for you. And a free Observer. I don't think he... does he have any more Observers? I don't think he does have any more Observers in this mix. Yes, two out on the map. Yeah, once in that mix somewhere. Yep, yeah, it's right on top of the army. So a single observer's in there. Maybe a second one? Yeah, two observers. So he's, uh, he's okay. But there's still Swamos in the mix, so he definitely needs to keep these observers alive. And Judas? Judas? Are you kidding me? Is that a mist? Oh. Some nice attacks for Hanfi, but he really wants to fight close to these spines. Keep the spines alive and fight on top. Maybe keep the uh, swarm host a little bit in the back, but not too far. You still want to have a little bit of locust life left um, in order to deal with this army. And looks like clear Kirk will be able to clear up the sixth base. Yep, yep, that's easier, easier than expected. Ooh, that's another Colossus, and the second one, he's running out of Colossi, some good storm to stop the Locust, and the Infestors actually get hit here with the feedback as well, no, but some good funnels coming out, still the storms are helping out quite a bit, ooh, so many storms right on top of these Colossus, uh, on, this, on these Corruptors, most of the Colossus are gone, and this is a, kind of a good spot for crew, but the uh, Stalkers can't really fight, but Still, if you can get rid of, of the Corruptors, you can go for another Colossus army. And Hanfi is running out of options. He's relying on mostly Infester and a Swarm Host right now. Luckily for him, he did take out all of the Colossi and only a few Archons remain. Which are basically the only thing that Kurr has right now to deal with the Locusts. So that's um, definitely not... Not something he wants to rely on right now. And therefore, going for more Colossi. Also a little bit of a run by attempt here on the left side. And Hanfi is still sticking in here. But he's running out of options. Not that many minerals remaining on his 4th uh, base. 5th base. <clears throat> oh, and the miss rally on, on the swarm host. Luckily for him, uh, Kirk couldn't really capitalize on it. Ooh, and actually lost a little bit of a uh, little bit of a stalker army there. Uh, but the zealots here in the middle of the map are not going to do all that much. I think that was pretty much a waste. Even though Hanfi could uh, tech up a little more, he wants to rely on more free units, more swarm hosts, more infestors, and the vipers just to complement and take out the colossi. And that's really all he can do right now, since he's almost starved out. Could go for an expand on these left bases. There are no... Uh, he knows that there are no scouts over here. So just take an hidden expansion. And <laughs> I think that Locust actually scouted out the Stalkers on the right side. Yep, Infestors are trying to get into position. Or some nice fungals. Um, unfortunately, will the swarm most uh, locusts actually help out here? Ah, uh, doesn't quite hit the fungal. That next one will hit though. It's a few stalkers going down, and 
Does uh, crew make a return there? Nope, doesn't look like it. And Hanfi finally, finally taking more expansions on the left side. Finally realized, okay, I'm, all, I'm almost starved out here. I need more bases. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm gonna lose this game. But crew, he needs to realize this. So far he's been doing a good job, just checking checking out Hanfi, checking out where he's actually expanding into. But he hasn't done so in quite some time. But we'll be quite lucky to see, okay, Hanfi hasn't tried anything on this left side either. So, otherwise he could have lost already. But I think crew also doesn't really have an answer to, to Hanfi right now. He's always trying the same thing. I mean, starving out, sure, it, it can work, but right now he's leaving uh, space wide open for Hanfi to make an aggressive move. I doubt that Hanfi's actually gonna go for it, since he's still trying to establish his bases, but Kuro is definitely giving him options. And Hanfi could go for runbys if he really wanted to. Speedlings available, he has um, all upgrades for the speedlings available. Um, and he's just missing the plus two missile and uh, plus two missile, melee, and armor upgrades. Those are the upgrades that he could go for right now. Especially if that base finally gets established. Before that, uh, rely mostly on units. I guess that makes sense, but you don't really want to be caught behind here. But instead, uh, going for the Greater Spire and the plus, through, a plus 3 a Flyer Missile Attack Upgrades. Flyer Attack Upgrades? Uh, let's see. Uh, Ling Run by not really working. He caught that timing when Crew was actually on the move back. He's creeping out again and moving out with his army. And Crew going for a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 base. So he's also finally realizing I'm running out of running out of minerals here. Not that many patches remaining. They're quite low, only 500 in each. I think this one has even less. Yeah, 400. But Kuro, it looks like he can kill the space once again. A couple of locusts are over here, but not enough to deal with so many colossi. That's for sure. And, yep, there goes that base. Ooh, and a lot of stalkers jumping straight on top of the swarm host. Good move by Kuro. And I don't think that Hanfi realized that Kuro actually took a base down there. Broodlords are coming out now. So Broodlords are gonna change this quite a bit. Right now, uh, Kuro doesn't have too many options versus Broodlords. Mostly these Blink Stalkers, maybe the Archons, but with a good spot for Hanfi to um, have these... Uh, have the brood lords available. Ooh, nice, nice abducts. Taking out two colossi and some really good fungals. He's gonna get rid of most of the colossi. Corrupts are still in the air, and the brood lords come into play. But he lost his base once again, and now Kur has some time to react to the brood lords. Can get some units out, but he lost his entire entire army once again. He's so behind right now, as far as army supply is concerned, and maybe his income can help, but still. That's that's the whole army he needs to rebuild right now. And not a lot of time. These brutes are they're not really fast, but um swarm hosts kind of are, at least on creep. And that's a lot of locusts moving straight on top of the stalkers. They can't blink away. Of course, stalkers, storms, and colossi are needed right now. And lots of stalkers uh to jump straight on top of the of the brute lords. Uh, can that High Templar save itself? Ah, uh, looks like he can. Anfi, he's getting aggressive now. He knows I have I have a few precious moments to make something happen with my transposition. And if I don't, I'm in trouble. He still has a couple of Infestors available. These are gonna come in quite handy if he can get a good Fungal like that one. Maybe another Fungal coming out? Nope. But the Broodlords, they're doing their damage. Getting rid of the Colossi, getting rid of the High Templars. I think Hanfi is playing this out quite well. He's gonna get rid of the Templar Archive. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. This is definitely gonna hurt. Only three High Templars out on the map. No more Colossi left alive for crew. Only 22 Stalkers. And these Infestors, they still have a little bit of energy. 
Hanfi, of course, he's so incredibly low on minerals. Um, doesn't have all that much remaining. He has a little bit of gas left. And he reestablished his base. Not going for a uh, fifth base once again, but he has such a strong army right now. He really doesn't need to reestablish anything. I doubt that Kuru can actually rebuild in time. But, I mean, single good blink like that one. Going straight on top of the swarm host. This is gonna help out quite a bit. Oh, Hanfi, you just threw it very you just threw away your massive advantage. That's another good fungal. Mm -hmm. A few stalkers will remain alive. But now links come into the mix, and these are gonna help out. You only have so much blink available at a time. And still a couple of swarmos now sitting under the brute lords. Did this is just nuts. I think Hanfi can take it. Crew not even producing anything anymore. Lost most of his really vital tech. And he knows, okay, if I'm gonna produce Colossi now, it's not gonna help. Uh, Spling Stalkers are gonna help, but not if the if, uh, Swarm Hosts are still alive. Not with uh, nine Swarm Hosts still in the mix, and not against these Infestors. So. Still buying a little bit of time trying to get his Cybercorp re established. He has some good income still. And a couple of Colossus over here. A good blink, keeping these alive. And if he can actually keep these alive, he can still make a turnaround happen. Especially uh, since Hanfi hasn't quite re-established all of his bases just yet. And his long distance mining. These are running out. And uh, Kuro is still mining quite well. Didn't lose all of his workers, so he's far ahead uh, in the mining department. But just running out of army. An aggressive fling forward right under these colossi, uh, right under these uh, swarm hosts. And uh, doesn't have quite enough. Doesn't have quite enough. This is gonna be game here. But he still has a couple of zealots available. And they're standing on top of the swarm host. The storm coming out as well. But got rid of most of the brute lords. Not bad. Kerr is sticking in this. And doing quite well. <laughs> He's trying to get his High Templars uh, back in the mix as well, getting a couple of uh, gateways established. I think Hanfi finally realized, okay, he's gotta have some kind of income out of somewhere. And let's see if uh, Hanfi finally getting his mineral count back up. Yeah, income is helping. Getting a little bit more income. I'm just going for a Lynx right there. And of course Lynx are gonna clear out the space, but Links are not gonna be all that useful against uh, this massive, massive, well, massive not really, but this army that Kru still has out in the map. But Kru right now, he doesn't have all that much production available to him. He has a single Stargate, well, that's not gonna do anything. He has five Warp Gates, but well, five Warp Gates not gonna do all that much either. And once the Swarmos get back in there, uh, this is gonna spell doom for him, especially if, if Brute Slots are added for Hanfi once again. Oh, some updates uh, coming out of Mr. Duck Duck. TLO beats Fatal and Jason. So he's avenging Gung Fu and still has a chance in the bracket. We'll check that out um, in between the next match. For now, Hanfi is still in this. And so is Kr. They're dead even on supply right now. A little bit more army supply to Hanfi. Um, and he has the plus three flyer attacks up. Flyer attack upgrades, which are not doing all that much right now since no more Colossi are on the map. And that's almost a free swarm host. Yes, there it is. And drones will have to be pulled for Hanfi here. I don't know exactly what he's doing, but he's definitely fighting to keep his swarm host alive. He knows I'm definitely relying on swarm hosts. I need to keep him alive. I need to stick to the swarm hosts and possibly get a couple of brute lords in there again. But right now, with so many so many stalkers it's gonna be tough he really he really should go for more infestors but then again um, right now he doesn't have that many minerals and doesn't have too many options uh, to re-establish more bases but Kuru is also getting kind of ballsy he's getting kind of desperate moving on top of the creep standing right on top of this army and He's just relying on storms this time. No free shots from the Colossi. Some good storms coming out, but the High Templars are melting away here. 
Two going down, three going down, all of the high temples have melted away. And this could be the final move here. Hanfi getting on top of the Archons. Getting a couple of shots um, caught by the by the Corruptors. And three more Archons are left alive, but that's pretty much the entire army for crew. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just four Archons, one, Zella, uh, one Stalker and one Oracle. That's it. That's it for crew. He has a few photon cannons to defend, but well, what what is there to defend? This single base. He doesn't have any, have, have anything over here, so not really all that much left for our, our pink Protoss. Meanwhile, Hanfi going for another base again. Did lose quite a few workers. That's that's one thing Kuro has got going for him. He still has uh, the better income, and he's going for Colossi Tech again. Now the Nexus also being established, I don't really... Oh, well since he did lose this one earlier, but it's been immediately scouted by Hanfi. And Hanfi, uh, is he gonna move his army over here? Needs a little bit better map vision, otherwise... Well, he, he with better map vision he could actually take out Kerr before he could re-establish his army. Only a few units left alive. He knew where the army was at, he could go for a finishing blow, but he doesn't want to fight on top of cannons either. So I guess all of this somehow makes sense for Hanfi. Meanwhile, he's still mining, so it's, it's quite alright for him. Maybe he could get a couple more drones, but here we are. Three Broodlords are being added. And that is a wise decision. If you can keep the Archons back, and usually they would since they have to deal with the Locust. Um, yeah, Brutalots are gonna do that much in the battle. And they're gonna help besiege these bases as well. Once the income dwindles away for Kru, that's pretty much game. This is all he's been relying on so far. A couple of links actually burrowed back here. It's pretty crazy. See if these locusts make it into the base. Ooh, a couple of free kills here. But Kuro is trying to establish another base, trying to get rid of the debris to safely move between these bases. And Hanfi is on the lookout. He's on his way. And I like this. Preemptively splitting his swarm host a little bit. His other base is under attack once again. He did save his drones. Hasn't reproduced that many drones either yet. Which, which makes sense if you think about it. I mean, this is mostly like a low econ game. We're back, we're back to the Stone Age, pretty much. And in that situation, you really don't want to over drone, um, to be honest. Especially since he doesn't really know what Kur is doing. He's gonna clear out this base, gonna clear out these warp gates, which is gonna help quite a bit. Because once uh, Kerr realizes, okay, there are there are brute lots out on the map, uh, he's gonna go into stalkers as soon as he can. That's a nice position for him. He can defend this for a while. Once he sees the brute lords, he's gonna be in trouble, big trouble, my friend. Six colossi are gonna help against the swarm host, but no stalkers this time. No aggressive blink forwards. It's not gonna happen. Things are clearing out the space, but ooh, nice warp in, helping out quite a bit. Actually not using all of his links over there. Now he is. Oh no, not really. I think he wants to go for the final blow. Oh wow, he's gonna go for it. These links are not really doing all that much and I doubt that he can lure crew out. Ooh, a nice kill. Getting uh, almost three Colossus. So forget about the links not doing all that much. He's realizing that the right side has been taken. Um, he's just gonna kill that base, but for now, ooh, another nice Colossus kill. How much energy do these queens actually have? That's full energy queen, full energy queen, full energy queen, three full energy queens. They're gonna help out quite a bit against uh, against stalkers if they do come into play to kill off the brute lords. Kerr can still hold this for now. More stalkers are being produced. A little bit unfortunate that Hanfi didn't go for the kill on these warp gates. Could have helped out. 
But Locusts are helping out as well. And finally, he did get his economy back up there. So does Kuro, so it's almost even minerals right now. A little bit of a gas advantage for, for the Akuru. And that's a lot of links. They're finally gonna clear out this base. And the Locusts are still handling this base. No more Colossi are being added right now for Kuro. He knows, okay, I've, I've seen the Brute Lords, I need more Stalkers. I can't rely on all Colossi for now. He's losing a lot of uh, a lot of pylons, which means ooh, nice aggressive bling forward, taking out one one brute lord. No, there's some really good infuses coming out. Two brute lords did go down. Third one might fall here, but more and more transfuses, and that's the locust closing in, getting rid of the stalkers, and the last colossi are falling. Uh, a few archons are still in the mix, but more brute lords are being warped in. And there's the GG, Hanfi goes for the 1-0 in an almost one hour game, not bad at all. Wow. And it looked pretty grim uh, from time to time for Hanfi, but in the end, with a nice uh, tra retransition into Brute Lords, he made it happen. And that's the 1-0, <laughs> still a 1-0. Uh, I promised you guys to check out the bracket in between, so we'll do just that. Give me a sec here. All right, what do we have in the mix? Let's check it out. TLO advanced over Jason and also won versus Fatal Error, and he's now waiting for the winner between Red and Dystar. Ooh, this could be a team kill. And sort of advanced over Soul. Cool tea and Fire, ooh, Fire Kick is in this, jeez. Um, the Muslim advanced over Prime Lot, so ooh, this is going to be a really nice match after afterwards. So either Hanfi or Kuru could face off against the Muslim. I'm liking this. Wait, I'm getting an invite behind. Oops, a sec. Okay, Kuru's ready. We're loading into the map already, so let's quickly finish off the bracket here. And who do we have over here? Tarantius Lost versus Rail. Frost and Bling are still playing. Petraeus is still playing versus Revolution. Hope One versus Cube. Rolon X is still playing. Night End is waiting. Teffel versus uh Teffel is gonna play versus Morrow or Hephaestus. Minimath. Goody it wow, Goody One versus Harstam. That's a little bit surprising. And Nurcho is waiting for Probably a little Kanin, could be Zushlia. And Alfie is also waiting down here. So still a lot of really good players in the mix. Ooh, another German kill, Lambo versus Sokka. DMC is in there, Tamikas is in there. Yeah, quite a few players, but uh, let's get back into the game. Because this could be the final game, <laughs> could also be another one hour game, um, but we'll have to see. Here we have him spawned in the top right as the green zerg playing for red bloods. It is Hanfi. He's currently leading 1-0, one out in the pretty massive late game ma uh, match. His opponent he actually looked pretty good in the mid game. See if he can do it this time. It's our pink Protoss. Krr. And going from the early probe scout. Is Hanfi gonna go for that uh, triple hatch before pool? I doubt it. Maybe hatch before pool, but on overgrowth, you can rarely get away with triple hatch before pool. I've seen it done, but. Only if Protoss players really don't like aggro. This is the only time we really would go for that. And maybe he is. There's another drone moving over here. It's probably gonna hide behind the mineral lines just to get up. Rope did see that drone. So he could turn around to try to deny an th early third from being taken. Maybe Hanfi just wanted to check and see what the probe was up to. Zealot is being produced for now. And we'll have to see if it actually if if it's actually getting finished. And let's see. Kuru checking the third base. Keep in mind, Hanfi had 
pretty much free reign in the early game last game. So I would kind of expect Kerr to go for um, more aggressive uh, aggressive play, especially since he did scout out the third now. Pretty good timing here. Um, 320 something for Hanfi for the third base. And I wouldn't be surprised if Kerr actually let this um, Zealot finish and go go for an attack here. Zealot and Mothership Core, yep, he is. Warpgate is also on the way, so a second Zealot is being produced. Of course, Hanfi sees this. He has the Overlord in position. And <laughs> the probe still wailing away at the bat hatchery. Well, <laughs> poking away. That's the first Zealot moving over. Oh, I actually missed the first Zealot. <laughs> so that is already the third Zealot that just got finished. Mothership Core is almost done. So that's a lot of pressure, and Hanfi might go for a cancel here. A couple of drones are transferring already. The pool is just finishing up and 12 links are being produced straight away. Still, two zealots on the way, mothership core is on the way. No proxy pylon just yet. Let's see if Hanfi is gonna let this finish. Yes, he will. And that hatchery is already <laughs> almost in the red here. More zealots are closing in, the mothership core is on the way. And only uh, about 14 links to stop this. Uh, I think he might lose this hatch. Actually, I'm pretty certain he will lose this hatch, depending on how crew deals with the links. Oh, they're fighting on creep. And looks like he might be able to clear this off, but the Mothership Core is still there. And uh, only a few shots on that hatchery. Queen will get out, though. And the Queen will get rid of the Mothership Core, especially with more Queens closing in. But I think he might still get the kill here. Uh, nope, not with the second queen moving in. Not with the second queen. Wow, this was a clutch decision. <sighs> Kerr could have gotten that kill, but now he invested a lot in these in the early aggression. Didn't get the kill. Anfi had a th had a third, has a third, and um, can go into macro right now, or could go into some crazy aggressive play. He's going for two gases already, which kind of indicates. Maybe a, a Roach Ling bust? But Kuro has uh, Warpgate tech available and he's moving out once again. I'm not sure if I like this. Maybe it's just to uh, check. Okay, do we have any links up here? Any links to scout out what I'm doing? Otherwise, I, I don't think this is a good, a good decision to go for an aggressive play right now. He had his chance. He had his chance to do something. But then again, he really wants to kill this third base. And Hanfi, he's, so far he's not spent any energy on transfuse. He doesn't have too many links available, and I don't think he actually scouted this out. Spine is being produced, more links are being produced, and speed has just started, but he's not really in the best position to defend this. With the proxy pile coming up, he might actually run into trouble and lose his base, but maybe he can get rid of uh, the sentry before and maybe even a couple of zealots. More sentries are coming in. They're gonna try to close off the right side and just go for the kill on the hatch. He doesn't really care about losses at this time. Spine is almost done. Some good force fields on the left side, but the links are still closing in and getting right on top of the sentries. Getting rid of one sentry, two sentries, third sentry might fall. Yes, it will. And let's see, not that many zealots left alive. More sentries are being warped in. But Hanfi has that spine now. He has more links. And speed is almost done as well. He just needs to buy a little bit more time. Good force was on the right side, keeping the Zells alive. He's running out of energy on these sentries. And slowly but surely, speed is about to finish. The creep is still inching on forward. Hanfi buying the time he needs. And if he holds this, that would be pretty massive. It's a lot of resources down the drain for crew. Hanfi, he should really fight on top of the siege crawl uh, on top of this um, spine crawler here. Still with speed now done, he can close this off. He's going for the sandwich, turning right on top of his units. And all the zealots are dying, stalkers are falling as well. Queens are helping out quite a bit, getting rid of the last sentries, last stalkers. Looks like crew can't be for now. Hanfi doesn't have that many workers left alive, but he has three bases, so he can still recover from this. And crew lost so much. He lost so many units in this engagement. Have a look at the resources lost. 88 links, that's also quite a bit, but I think quite a bit more for Kuro. 
3500 versus 2200. As proxy pounds are going down. And Kuro is trying to save himself, trying to get that robo up and running. Trying to get a couple of Colossi out to stop Hanfi. But right now, I think Hanfi is not going to go for a finishing blow. He's going to try uh, to to make something happen with these links, but uh, it's quickly going to realize I'm not against so many sentries. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to lose links here. But instead, just drones up. Getting a nice little drone lead here pretty soon. Eight workers are being produced at the same time. He's going for the plus one, plus one again. Just like last game. And just like last game, Chris' um, little early aggression failed. Definitely had a chance to do it. I think if he would have just gone for um, the focus fire early on, he would have just focused the third instead of dealing with the links um, in the first engagement, that is. He could have taken it out. Would have lost his, his zealots, but still, he would have taken out the base. That's the hallucinated phoenix making its way over. Uh, it's not going to scout all that much, but a nice timing on the layer and these extractors. We'll see that um, two upgrades are on the way. And will be great to know that there is no Roach Warren just yet for Hanfi. Though that can tell him quite a bit about the style that Hanfi is looking to play here. And Hanfi finally getting his, his gas back up. And still trying to deny the third for Krul. Which I think is going to work for a little bit longer. Because right now uh, Krul doesn't have any any way to deal with mass links, just sentries, and I don't know, maybe Hanfi actually realizes this. Oh, a single sentry only over here! But good timing on the force field, <laughs> of course, immediately warps in the second sentry, just to close this off again. Still think uh, Hanfi could get rid of this third once again. Also going for more spines, going for a, a spire, Just this looks exactly like the last game right now. Of course, there was a little bit more aggression for both of them, but um, Hanfi also dealt with this quite quite easily. Well, easily. He sweated. He, he sweat a little bit, but still. Spire is coming out. Let's see if he actually is going to use that Spire uh, for Mutas, but I think with the amount of Stalkers he sees already, um, wouldn't be the best decision. Probably just for Colossi later on, uh, for dealing with Colossi later on. That's a fourth base being established for Hanfi. Of course, quite a bit later than you would usually see, but with the aggression that Kuru put out, uh, really had to come down later. And Kuru adding more and more gateways and going for Blink Tech. Also for the plus two armor upgrade, so that's a little bit of a change up compared to the last game. During Locus upgrade was started but cancelled again, and instead Mutas are being produced. And we'll have to see if that works out. There's a lot of stalkers in the mix. Warpgates are just clearing up here, and I think crew can stop the, stop the circling run by. But 18 mutas. That was a pretty last minute decision, especially since he saw. Okay, um, there's a lot of stalkers already for crew. I think he might have seen. Did he see the. Uh, I don't think he saw the. Nope, he didn't see the Quiet Council. Oh yes, he did. Never mind. <laughs> so he should realize there's just a precious timing for Mutas. And did Kuru actually scout out the Mutas just yet? Nope, he hasn't seen them quite yet. Once he scouts them out, oh yeah, he's already reacting. Going straight for double Stargate. But that's already a pretty big Muta army. And if Kuru moves out between these two bases, he's pretty much dead. That's way too many links, way too many mutas to deal with. But, oh, Hanfi needs to watch out. He shouldn't split up that much. Gonna save his army on the right side, and a lot of stalkers being warped in here on the left side. Still, that's a lot of mutas. They don't have any upgrades just yet. So he needs to watch out not to engage too many stalkers at once. And they're coming in from the right side again. But Kerr dealing with this quite well so far, and he has a Zealot leg speed available pretty soon. So he's just gonna rely on Stalkers and Zealots for now. 
Zealots, of course, deal quite well against the links on the ground. And the Stalkers, um, with a good blink forward, can catch quite a few meters off guard. And Hanfi, he needs a little bit more defense if he wants to stay alive. But his good creep spread, I think, is helping him out quite a bit. Because Kru doesn't want to move out on the creep. And he also doesn't want to lose his fourth base. A third base, rather. And the links standing right in there, but no real focus fire. So they're still trying to get to the Photon Cannon. He could have taken out the space, but... A couple of Mutas made their way into the main, and that is gonna help a little bit as well. Getting rid of the pylon, unpowering two warp gates, and getting out again. I think I got he got rid of a, quite a few workers. Yeah, 19 workers went down. So crew definitely not in the best in the best spot for worker production, uh, or rather eco game. But he's going for her double Phoenix production now, and uh, if he's chrono boosting these out. And just sticking to his three bases and maybe catch Hanfi off guard. Hanfi is transitioning. He's adding in a couple of corruptors and also going for the speed upgrade for Overlords. There we go. Next attack coming in. Z Ling's not really, not really getting on top of the army, but neither are the Mutas. Now they are. A good position for Kuro. I think he can still fight this. Yeah, this is an excellent position for Kuro, and he got rid of quite a few Mutas. And still giving chase. These are mostly hallucinated Phoenixes, by the way. Um, Hanfi should realize this here pretty soon. But he already lost 13 Mutas. So long, as long as Kuro can keep a good stalker count alive and not lose too much at home, He's, he's still in a good position, but there's the run by. Kuru doesn't have anything to stop these links. And now the links are really what's what should be killing him here. And Mutas, of course, also in the natural. Kuru wants to go for a base trade. I don't think this is gonna work all that well. Mutas and links. If it would have been just the Mutas, I think he could have won the base race. But with Mutas and links, um, Anfi should be fine. Anfi should be taking this. And got rid of the natural. We'll get rid of the third here pretty soon. Plus one uh, weapons upgrade is almost done for crew. Maybe he can stop that, but no, Mutas are still at third. So he's not going to be able to stop that quite yet. And oh, that's a lot of spines and a lot of queens defending at home. I think Hanfi can stall this for long enough to actually get rid of all of the buildings that crew has out on the map. And the fact that he has such a good creep spread helps him immensely now if it does come to a um, little bit of a longer base race situation where people are trying to rebuild um, their buildings. But I think that's not going to happen here. Um, with this army, Hanfi could probably just take her head on as well. Yep. That's that's the GG. Not even GG. <laughs> he, just, he just won by taking out all the buildings. And Hanfi moves on to the round of 32, winning 2-0 versus Kuru.